and welcome back to Madame Rotterdam live stream. I hope you had a wonderful Santa class for those here in the Netherlands. And if you are from all around the world, we wish you happy holidays for the upcoming holidays. So our guest here is Erica, and I would love for you to introduce yourself because you can introduce it way more better than I would do. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so I'm uh, Erika. I'm originally from Japan. Uh, I grew up over there. I spent uh, yeah, pretty much most of my life it's in little countryside. Uh, the, that is my home. It's called Susono, and it's really close to the Mount Fuji. And uh, yet, uh, I decide to get out from Japan when I was. Uh, are you 20? Yeah. Yeah, I went to London, uh, studied there, and then it's life keep going, and somehow I end up in Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, actually. I remember the first time I saw you was in Rotterdam Partners uh, red carpet dinner. Yes. And as you can see, she was beautiful, wearing this beautiful kimono, and I was telling Anne with me at the time. We gotta go talk to her. Like I want to know. <laughs> me personally, I love the Japanese culture, the food, the way that you hold your uh, whole tradition and stuff, and yeah. the respect uh, in the country. I love how people can be very well organized. Yeah. And, and it's very deep in the Japanese culture. But then I found out that you do something that relates to food. Yes. Uh, which is, uh, <laughs> sorry, we we. Uh, we can't. Waki. Waki. Sorry. Yes. Waki. Can you maybe talk about Waki and where the name came from? Uh, so it's I. Now I I've been in uh, Rotterdam almost uh, um, one year and it's almost two years in the Netherlands since I moved. So it's uh, I started this it's a uh, well company, just only on my own, uh, but it's called Waki. So it's uh, it's spelled like a W A. K E A T, nice. um, so it's uh, uh, then meaning of the name is a uh, uh, first uh, wake, so it's a uh, like English spell wake. Uh, in the Japanese we call it uh, wake, and the wake have uh, two different meanings in Japanese, and one is a uh, reason to do something, and the uh, second one is uh, sharing. And uh, then I just put the it was last E. So I just like, yeah, I'm gonna do something with food. So I just put the eat to combine just one word. And that's uh, actually the meaning of the name. Sharing food also. And one other fascinating thing is on the website, your website, it says that uh, eat in Japan, uh, the, the, the letter of yeah. the, the word of yeah. eat, is, if you separate them, it means human and good. Yeah. And then together yeah. they will be eat. Yeah. Why is it that uh, uh, very important uh, the health aspect in the Japanese food? Is it very important? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I'm just to be honest. I I've been in uh, Japanese for all my life. <laughs> However, I just use that word. It's like a really simple uh, ca character we learned quite early age, and uh, I use all my life just without thinking any and the one point is uh, my mother uh, was in a, a Japanese teacher and she actually told me that like hey Erika this uh, one uh, character actually combined the two things it's actually separated this with human and good and wow. uh, then I find that uh, it's nowadays it's a little bit that's complex that actually eating things in everywhere in the world because we sometimes just grab to eat. It's yeah. not like you don't really think about it. But uh, this character has been used so long time, and the way I actually look, like, ah, wow, actually eating should be good. It's not like something is becoming obesity or like uh, you know some bringing some uh, other health uh, issue that uh, yeah. we didn't have. And then I look back and I was like, okay, so it's eating should be something good. It's not something. Uh, People scared about it or like oh no I don't want to eat this or okay everybody have a different view yeah however it's overall should be the good things yeah and uh, one other thing that I was uh, fascinated by um, 
is that the fact that you maybe chose the word share because you have been traveling, you left, you, you were one of the first people in your family to leave uh, yeah. Japan, yeah. and you went abroad, and yeah. uh, um, you were saying that through your adventures that you were together with different people from different backgrounds, yeah. that all that didn't matter when it was around food. Can you maybe talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, so. I was grew up in this as a small, a small town, and it's a well, it's everybody look like me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I moved to uh, UK, and I find such a multi culture there, and uh, everybody have a different background, nationality, religion, uh, belief, um, also job. Um, it could be a class, yeah. and. Uh, then I, I made it so many friends that uh, it, it didn't matter when have one good meal and we share it. And then uh, from that I have to leave the uh, UK just because it's uh, many things happen in my life and one of the things was actually uh, I lost my job when I was uh, working in a company and it's, uh, with my nationality even I stayed there for Eight years, I couldn't expand my visa, so basically I had to leave that time. Wow! And um, it's not on. I don't know if we say everybody feel comfortable, but uh, that time I also it's my personal part that uh, I found uh, my family found my dad got very very sick, oh. and uh, he was diagnosed by the pancreas cancer, oh. wow. and. Uh, so that time I lost my job and uh, my family found that, that got very sick, sick. and so it seems like you know, it's the world is telling me to go back to Japan. So I decided to go back to Japan and uh, me, mom, uh, my sister uh, was looking after him until he passed away. I'm sorry for that. No, it's it's. it's it's a, it, it happens. It happens. So it's a, and but it's at the same time I was very lucky to have a, that time with him. Yeah. Because it's if I didn't lose a job, but I couldn't stay like a year yeah. with him. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was such a amazing gift that I also get. Um, you know, I could be there. I just it was so strange just go back to home after you grew up and traveling around. Then. Uh, Start living with your parents again. Yeah. Uh, but that time I find it's more like uh, actually could see him as a person, not like just uh, seeing as a dad and yeah. has to be like that, like that. But we really have a great time. And uh, yes, so that was uh, also the reason I started interesting about mobile food because it's then I start doing uh, research and uh, I'm not medical student or doctor so but then I find it's a uh, uh, almost like 50% of Japanese people so one in two it's actually getting cancer and that wow. was a, a very shocking it's a every like you said it's a health aspect of yeah. Japanese food however it's like it, it's something going on there and uh, <laughs> it's it's actually not it, it looks healthy, but however, it's, if you dig it more, I find it like, oh, this is not normal. It's what, what's going on. And it's at the same time, I just seeing it, uh, my dad being, uh, being medicated, but then that brings this um, side effect. So it's another medication come and uh, it was just, I felt that I just want to help him somehow. Yeah. So it's uh, that time I, Went into more about food, and uh, maybe I haven't said it, but actually I make uh, the miso yeah. in here. Uh, I was going to go and ask uh, about <laughs> the miso, but if I could tell you, what is that one ingredient that you think that will cause people to have uh, this type of disease? Yeah, possibly food, uh, because it's also I. So it's, uh, then coming back, it's the food should be good. That yeah. was uh, the ancient people were thinking it, and it's a uh, food or medicine we, you know, it's, it's, uh, eat. Yeah. And it's uh, also I learned that it's, uh, like so the herbalism, some like nutrition, and uh, it's I think it's maybe after a war because it was such a scarcity of the food. Yeah, uh, it was uh, the time they have to make it more. 
but to make it more, sometimes you have to tweak something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it's sometimes you just look at the label exactly the same. Risotto is the same, however, the process is very different. Yeah, right. And uh, that's something I found it, and um, especially the. the yeah, sorry, I, I had just come uh, comments uh, from Pindama that say that, uh, oh my god, this looks amazing. Ah, <laughs> <And> <laughs> it's all free clothes, I guess. <laughs> also, I, I, she loved the style, the style. Yeah, and, uh, uh, we also have another comment from Sarah Hu. Uh, I know she's great. Probably the story that you are sharing about food. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> also, also, I just uh, get the, this kimono is actually. Sometimes people ask, "Oh, is this expensive? Like it's uh, yeah. you know it's like cost a lot." So actually, I get everything free because uh, in Japan the people are throwing away because oh. it's get too old it's ah. like oh it's too much hassle to do it then I said like hey <laughs> if it's throwing away I'm gonna wear it so I got like probably 200 of free kimono that uh, <laughs> being given and uh, I think I was also telling to Maria that it's what kind of girl hates to get the free clothes I mean, yes <laughs> that's very true I love kimonos and I love like I just doesn't actually buy it um if we go back to the food aspects yeah, I remember so from also your website which I, I, I like read it a lot and was uh, interested your grandmother yeah. used to tell you that you eat rice and miso and that is enough. What is the ingredient in maybe if you explain what is miso for people who don't know what it is? Yeah. And then what is the, the healthy aspect of miso? Yeah. So it's a, I actually sure. brought a little gift to you. <laughs> oh. Thank you very yeah. much. I can say um arig uh, no uh, yeah, yeah. arigato <laughs> So it's a, this is a, the miso I have at the moment. That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you open. So it's a, that's a different types in here. So this is a... Wow. So you see the difference of maybe color? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see like different shades of it. If you Maybe yeah. show it like it's different shades mm. and different colors. Uh, what is it? So is it uh, uh, a herb? Is it? Uh... It's actually very, very, very simple ingredients. They are made by grain, uh, normally rice or barley, yeah. um, and also beans. Um, Why well in Japan you have to use actually soya beans to officially call the miso and the salt and they just. Uh, and the, you grow this it's a mystic fungus called koji and uh, then you just uh, mix with and uh, you ferment so it's uh, you kind of wait only the time spring is the truth yeah and, uh, it's, some of them takes uh, two years to get ready and uh, um, minimum six months but that's a very traditional way okay and these are fermented for how long so these ones, probably like four, four months, four, five months, very young still. <laughs> and this one is about a year and a little bit. This one's the most oldest one, it's almost two years. It's very, very, very first to me, so <laughs> I made it in the uh, Netherlands. <laughs> yes. Nice. And also, like, uh, I, this is a classic one I learned uh, from my grandmother. She probably learned from her mother, and uh, it's generation to generation. And uh, so this is a very classic uh, my family recipe. However, I learned the process of how to make a miso, so I also do something a little bit creative to use it. Maybe different types of beans, different types of grain. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sarah, who just come with awesome and uh, in Damas uh, asked. Are they healthy and uh, organic? Yeah, I I use all the uh, I trying to use all the locally grown also the beans and the grain. Uh, so it's like soya beans. I know that the, actually the person a farmer who's grown the soya beans in Netherlands, and uh, I try to also use it the, the organic uh, grain and beans. And uh, so some of them. Um, yeah, most like I did. 
some of them is this is like a totally Dutch jeans too. Jeans <laughs> to a concrete Dutch miso, Rotterdam miso. <laughs> but then it's uh, uh, I also use a rice. Sadly, rice doesn't grow in the Netherlands, so I have to get the. Uh, from Italy. However, I try to use it the minimum like European ingredients. Yeah, 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 I can imagine. And how would you eat it? Like, do I put it with the rice and just eat it raw? Do I cook it with something? Do I make uh, uh, like a soup out of it? Ah, uh, so it's uh, traditionally Japanese people when heard the miso is coming to the miso soup. So okay. you make it this is a broth and cook the vegetable or like maybe put it the tofu. And then uh, put this paste into the broth and turn into miso soup. And that's probably the most popular dish yes, everybody is. knows about miso. But uh, I also uh, collaborated with a, a lot of chefs, actually Dutch chefs, and uh, they are really a uh, good um, client for me. And uh, they do really crazy things. It's it's it will be um it's just um, unbelievable that it's because they don't have a, this uh, like okay miso has to be a miso soup yeah so they just like okay this gonna work with <laughs> this and this and it's turn into some crazy dessert some crazy yeah. dish and wow. uh, so you actually can use it in many many ways that uh, for example I give it to uh, uh, the friend of my uh, Italian girl and she just put this miso into her mother's classic Italian pasta <laughs> as a um, part of like a salt and it's turned into amazing and it's, uh, my Dutch friends told me she made it stump, 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 mm. stump, stump, yeah. stump that's the and, Dutch food and uh, he put in the miso and he was like wow that was great and it's a uh, very very like maybe Dutch way that it's one a good friend of my Dutch girl she stopped putting because of paste so she just put it on the toast and they put the cheese and they just toast it and they're like hey god that was great so it's uh, actually have uh, so many way to do it yeah, yeah. wow I, I can't wait to experiment with it definitely thank you so much for this this is amazing um okay so i have a question for you when it comes to some pictures in your website that i was very very fascinated by to be honest um and i wanted to ask you the story behind it yes um there is this one. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a. This is my mom and uh, my dad when they got married. Wow! And what about this one? Is it the, your gray? Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, is this one? This is my uh, grandmother and granddad when they got married. So it's like very traditional because I saw that. They like it looks also like maybe this is like her grandparents, but then I saw like your your parents having kind of similar thing except same color because it's yeah. a new uh, time. But do you think when you're gonna get married, you're gonna wear the same thing? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. People ask, uh, they wanna see it. Uh, maybe a website again. Then like uh, definitely, we're gonna say the website and we can want to tag it down there so you can see all these pictures is uh, in her uh, wewakit.com. W e w a k e a t dot com. Um, so, do you think you as well? Will... Uh, <laughs> I, I, at the moment, I don't have any plan. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I think it is, uh, that would be also the beauty of it. Maybe I I mix with something that's completely different, way with some tradition. Like I still follow the traditional way. However, I break it and making new but not um not having uh no i i do also respect it that way they do so it's uh yeah that would be great yeah <laughs> but maybe i wear something it's a uh, mix with hat <laughs> yeah different hat <laughs> or something uh, new okay since uh you are japanese where would you uh, recommend a restaurant here in Rotterdam that is as close as Japanese food as possible. Not should, I know that I get this question a lot because I'm also Indian and people say, where can I find the best Indian food? I say, in India! Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but oh. that is closer to home, like when you went there, it's like, oh, okay, this is as close as possible. Uh -huh. Oh, this is, a, I, I just cannot lie, so I'll just be honest. Yeah. Too. 
everybody. I don't really eat out because I just make it uh, <laughs> by myself. Uh, however, it's many people said that uh, uh, the restaurant called Yama is also run by the uh, Japanese uh, chef. Uh, he is in Trey and that's have a, I think it's a, I've been uh, luckily I've been on, uh, once there and uh, it was really good and I think that's Yama. Is it in Rotterdam? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. across to the bit to the bit. That's a famous one, yeah. Uh, yeah it's, uh, the thing is, uh, you, you have to book it like three months uh, before something like that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is a new way, a uh, new uh, information. I'm definitely gonna go and try it. Um, okay, uh, is there any question or So far, so good, yeah. Um, so A lot of parts are flying, though. Yeah. A lot of parts? parts. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So, I all, always ask the guests this question. If you have uh, an imaginary mic right here, and then I would say to you, can you, if it's, this mic could broadcast to every living person on this planet, yeah. what would be your message? What would your message be? You are actually perfect the way you are and what you have. And, uh, oh, is it, it has to be one sentence. <laughs> Anything you want to say, like every person on this earth is going to listen to you, so. I, I did this very crazy idea that I just had a good feeling. Like, maybe if you somebody see my business plan or like somebody see the number, I don't think anybody would do it because it's, I literally came to Netherlands knowing without knowing anybody I just came here just only one luggage and I didn't have a visa I didn't speak Dutch I don't have bank account or anything but I just had this feeling of it right to do it and uh, when I told like hey I think I'm gonna make start making a miso in Netherlands <laughs> And I told this story sometimes to um, personally to the people I meet. And imagine just a, you know you have a daughter <laughs> that been making maybe a Dutch cheese for five years, and she thinks like, okay, I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to Argentina. I don't speak <laughs> Spanish. I don't know anybody there. Uh, but I have a good feeling that this is gonna work. I think I was a bit like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's far from home and uh, yeah, it was just um, something It couldn't lie in my heart that uh, I have to do it. Uh, yeah. So it's, if you have uh, anything like that, I know it's very hard to do it and uh, get out from comfort zone. Yeah. But um, on these things, it, it, might be, it might be easy to maybe pretend a lie to other person but you cannot just lie to yourself so if you have anything like that maybe just go for it yeah yeah, yeah i do believe that that is actually a beautiful beautiful yeah um, we have a lot of parts and people say oh my god that's be so amusing and uh, sarah who also love argentina and laughing uh -huh. wow uh, also yeah. a comment from iwafa another one also that a feeling moved her that feeling um, moved her. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, actually, I have a little bit more. I didn't plan to tell because it's. Uh, I just all, also didn't want people to really think that uh, uh, I'm like poor person. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, it's. Uh, it's. It's. Uh, people. When I decide to actually do this, only. Every, everybody in my family or friends like, oh god, you're not gonna make this, what are you talking about? Yeah. You don't know anybody, you don't have any connection, how are you gonna start everything? Yes. Logically, yes. But my mom, uh, she said like, hey, okay, if that's your heart is really telling, I always support you. And uh, I know you won't be close to me, but uh, I'll be there. Then I moved here. Um, uh, then I start finding a place, getting a BSN number. <laughs> if you you like uh, coming to that, you later you know about what is a BSN number. <laughs> but um, then after two weeks, just been two weeks in Rotterdam, when I really start doing things, I got the phone call in the morning uh, from my sister, and it's my mom was uh, hit by car. She passed away. Oh my god! Oh. I'm so sorry. 
and uh, so it's uh, I didn't expect that uh, I would lose both of my parents within two years. One was wow. sort of I could prepare, but uh, one was um, just uh, she said I'll talk to you later, and she just uh, went to morning walk with uh, my dog, and uh, she was just uh, crossing a green light, and just car just came over to her. That was it, and uh, that day I have to go back to Japan. That's why it was a. Uh, that was a. Uh, Sorry, I'm really am. Um, but you know what? I always believe. Like I don't think they are gone away. Yeah, yeah. I believe that they are here. Yeah. And maybe they are helping you to stay here and to. I, people are saying like when you die you're gone. I don't believe it. I believe uh, that when you die you change into something else. Totally. It's a. Uh, I think it's time to time I get the like when I am down. I just. Suddenly see the rainbow, for example. Yeah. And it's like, no, you guys, you're not alone. You're not alone yeah. at all. They're there with protecting you. Yeah, and uh, people are relating to your feeling. Indama say that it's um, amazing that you are so tough. Uh, you are not a fool, you are a dreamer and a brave person. Right. So you say that I'm so sorry to hear uh, the story. I will I say that uh, God bless your mother. Sorry for that. And, uh, yeah, so. Like her flying, her broken, yeah. Yeah, amazing story. Thank I you for sharing. Yeah, uh, I do also believe, like uh, a friend of mine, uh, her father died, and then she said my life became better in every way. Mm -hmm. And and she said like sometimes when I feel what a deal goes through, and uh, she's a similar story as yours. She moved here, she doesn't know anyone, and then she's like, I feel like my dad is guiding me. Yeah, like, don't do yeah. that, do that. And yeah. I, I believe like yeah. you could have the same thing that like, yeah. both your parents are with you, go here, yeah. go there, and they make the process for you easier. And I think uh, for a person maybe who's not uh, spiritual, this could be difficult for them to, to understand. But yeah. I, I truly believe that. Um, so, yeah, so I make it um, uh, like these pastes actually. It's, uh, it's really the part of me because I have a very feeling of it and I really use it in my hand and uh, every time I just see it this is actually it's not on my own it's like my grandmother yeah. granddad mom dad it's like forever the generation and it's uh, like uh, the people whoever is over there too it's a uh, nice to meet you and it's a uh, it's really great that uh, you'll be here and uh, I'm not just thankful to you too, also the soul and the uh, you know, generation behind because otherwise who would be here? It's a complete <laughs> miracle, I believe that I... <laughs> That's true, uh, uh, that's very true. Th thank you for sharing and Hindama as I say, we are here for you. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. How would people reach you? Uh, you touch so many people and then if they want to get to buy this or get to, uh, to reach you, how would they get you? <laughs> It's, I'm still really on the process. Um, now I'm uh, just uh, working um, with a few restaurants, really good uh, chefs, and they they also I, uh, sometimes ask. At one point, I last year this time, probably I had only one client, and like Erica, you will really have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> so I start going uh, this is uh, uh, very good res restaurants. And uh, just go there, it's like, uh, hello, I make this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you're busy, I know, but if you like it, uh, you know, it's a uh, come back to me. And uh, they, uh, they really make it time for me, and uh, they make such amazing uh, uh, dish from this uh, the one thing, and uh, which very really excites me. But uh, I haven't. Um, it's still in the process that uh, I need to do, like uh, if I'm reaching to consumer, maybe packaging it, and also maybe I need to have a more bigger kitchen, for example. Okay, so you, you cannot yet uh, uh, provide for bigger demands? Not yet. Not but, yet. Not yet. But people, if a person would like, for example, tell you, Eric, I need this quantity uh, for one person or two persons, that one you can do. I guess. Just contact me. Maybe. <laughs> just, just, just find me. Yeah. Find uh, me. Yeah, she's um, somewhere. <laughs> uh, so how would they uh, reach you then? 
like can they reach you on oh yeah yeah like on... maybe email me okay yeah uh if you can say your email let's check it out uh or just um info to, yeah information or maybe like anything it's uh, happening it's uh, i would uh, definitely maybe post it on uh, instagram okay so it's a uh, I'm really working on it to also to people to reach. Yeah. Uh, because I I start getting more like so okay, the where can I get this <laughs> by the way? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so they can reach you at uh, info at wewakit.com and at her website www.wewakit.com as well and I uh, she has um, um, the Instagram is also We Wakit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only without any dots. No. Or we Wakit. And I'm going to also uh, link it down so you can uh, see it and find it out. If you check the last post, you're going to find it there as well. Okay. Yeah, that, there's a comment that uh, Sarah will say, nice to meet you too. And <laughs> Sarah who will say that we will reach you out from Madame Rotterdam so that we check. Yeah. So we will post Oh, that's thing. great! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. Uh, I was uh, wanted to. Uh, do you say uh, konnichiwa when you end or when you say hi? Hi. And how do you say it when you you want to say like bye or, or, or goodbye? How do you say? It? Uh, it's days two way. It's a goodbye. It's a sayonara. But uh, I would like to say see you to you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's matane. 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 Bye. Oh wow.